Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to present a simple demonstration of how to install a mid server. You know, mid server is very critical for any service now setup because it helps you securely communicate with the organization and service now instance. It is helpful in integrations, orchestration and discovery. So you know the importance of mid server. So now let's quickly move to installation of mid server. So we have to go to the mid server application. Here you see mid server download. First of all, you have to download the mid server files into your system. If you have Windows 12 or above, you can download the MSI option. But I have Windows 10. As I have a Windows machine, I have to download the Windows zip file here, which is of 64 bit. This is a ROM version. I'm not getting any 32 bit because ServiceNow has obsoleted the 32 bit mid servers. I have already downloaded uh, this file to save time. Let me go to that file immediately. Okay. You see mid ROM. This is the uh, file which I have downloaded. I have extracted it here. So now we have to create one user with a mid server role. Okay. So let's go to the users. So I have already created a user. Let me show you. This is the user. Here I have provided role. You see so many role, but uh, actually I have provided only mid server role. Just all roles are just inherited by mid server role. Okay. Let's go to the mid server server table. Here you see no mid server because we have not started the configuration changes yet. Mid server folder here mid room okay under agent you see the config file let's open it in editable mode you see some mid server configuration you just need to update the details of your instance and user id and password okay so i already have my url here so let me copy paste so where we have to do that here you see the parameter url update the value from your instance now username this is the username of the user which I have created and the password let me write down the password and again the parameter like uh, what name you want to give to a mid server so let's uh, give it a name like uh, demo mid server okay let's give underscore here Okay, these are the basic details which you have to fill in. Rest all are some optional things. Let's save these changes. Okay, so configuration file is updated. Now we have to start the process of mid server. You have to keep in mind that uh, the user must have the local admin access, local admin privileges to start this process. So that's why I have to open this command prompt as administrator, run as administrator. Now we have to change the directory. Let's go to this path. Uh, let me copy the path here. Copy address. CD. Okay, now we have to start the process. Uh, for that, we have to write down start dot bat enter. Something is happening. Let's wait. Hmm. Okay, the very first message is unable to install the mid server because service is already running. So it is happening because I already have one mid server in this system. So it has to stop that mid server first and then start the current service. So it stopped it and now you see service now mid server is started. Okay, so let's see if it is started or not. Let me go to the instance and check. Let me refresh it. Oh yes, you see the name I have given demo mid server. It is now available here. Let me open this record. Everything looks fine. We have the mid server which is uh, in working condition, but it is not validated. To validate it, you have to click on this. Validate. Reload it to see if it is validated or not. It is not yet validated. You see the logged in user is mid server. It is the same name which we have provided the same user account. 
okay so this mid server which is created in the client network right now under my system will use this user account going forward and whatever activity you see you will be seeing it in under the name of this user account okay you see the validation is complete it is validated at the bottom you can see uh, all the parameters which we have configured that is the url uh, the sys id which is given by service now the password the name and the username okay you see all these related links you can do all sort of uh, operations with this mid server like if you want to pause the mid server you can you have to click here then restart upgrade anything is possible so i think we are done with the installation of mid server i hope you like it and uh, mid server installation will not be any problem in future for you please subscribe to our channel we are coming up with lots of interesting videos for you stay tuned till then bye bye